Since we just shared some new and improved features of Blue Willow, I thought it'd be good to also explore Playground AI's latest filters. These filters are few, but they are plentiful, useful, and I love playing with them and exploring with them. And especially with the fact that Playground still lets you create up to a thousand images a day for free. It's really hard to not, right? Not log in and try. I'm having lots of fun with these illustrations and pop arts and a lot of these portraits that you can now create within Playgrounds. I think with their existing filters, it's just so easy for anybody to use. This one right here is my absolute favorite so far. It's watercolor base. It's so cute and so easy. So in this video, we're going to be exploring the five new filters and kind of give you some ideas on what you can use them for. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions. I would love to try them out. Let's get started. We're going to go ahead and go to create. And if you're new here, I would suggest checking out my introduction video. That one will walk you through how to use playground and prompts and all that and the special features that I do have. But for this one, we're just going to be exploring some of the new filters. I'm going to show you what they are. That is pop art fashion magazine, dark comic, mix punk, and storybook. So pop art, as you know, is just like those loud, uh, big portraits of characters and things like the can of soups and all that, that would be probably your pop art. And you have your fashion magazine, that would be your high-end avant-garde kind of stuff. You're gonna start seeing those there. Dark comic, I think is really fun. Uh, there's lots of line work and there's so many darkness. So if you're thinking of comics like The Walking Dead, that is an example. Um, I think you can really create some fun characters and uh, drawings in there. For Mixed Punk, it's also really fun illustrations. It's sort of a mix of things, um, but those illustrations are really good line work and you can utilize it for your books, your illustrations, and kind of mix in your comic style as well. Um, and finally, like storybook for me is my absolute favorite out of this bunch. I love watercolor. I love the light muted colors or like that pastel. And so being able to create these, I'm actually getting inspired to go and open up my watercolor set and just paint, you know, this is a good base. Um, so we're going to be exploring pop art first. And I think all of that is really simple to use. Uh, for pop art, I do recommend you sticking with a simple uh, subject. So let's say just a dog and you would just hit on generate. We're going to be generating maybe just two for these. Um, if you were to go into high detail, you're going to kind of lose that pop art effect. So no backgrounds, no like verbs on what they're doing or action verbs, right? You're going to stick to just the character. Um, by that, you're going to be guaranteed a better and cleaner effect. Um, this one's okay. And you can also generate again to see if you get something else. Um, but I have found that if I were to add something like a golden retriever swimming in the lake, on with a sunset background <laughs> you don't get that pop-up effect because they're just going to draw a bunch of lines right because pop art is heavy in color and heavy in lines and that might not be what you want um so we're going to do a portrait of a dog maybe that might give us a better better example of a pop art like the one you have here um, and then what I think that you can do with something like this is you can create multiple variations of a photo that you like. So let's, let's say you like this one. This is more like of that pop art style. <laughs> so we're going to give this happy face, click on actions and click on edit. We are going to press some changes and you can do a quick and easy one. So let's say, let's change the color, change the color to blue and then we're going to hit on generate. And that's going to give us sort of like that um, different color effect. And then at the end of this, you can kind of build those all together. And you, that's your pop art work that you see everywhere. And that's how you would do it. Multiple variations. And by utilizing their edit and even their in painting, you can really um, tailor it to the colors that you want and need. So let's say you don't like the pink nose, right? You can ask for a purple nose if you want. Um, that's all up to you. Um, I do like what they have here, right? Um, next, we're going to check out 
their fashion magazine. Fashion magazine is really loud, I think. If I were to do a portrait dog here, you're going to start seeing how crazy it is. But uh, typically what it does is it gives you a lot of avant-garde sort of look. So a lot of whimsical, crazy, loud, um, always on like a colorful background because that's just how magazine covers are. And then you get like your main character here. Um, this is really strange and <laughs> the reason behind this is that it's taking this image to image here because I forgot to remove that. But let's remove that and let's do a portrait of a, uh, just, just do like a, a woman with big earrings and we'll see if that's a little bit better to look at. All right, so you can see here, when I mean avant-garde, I just mean something that's like sort of artsy and fashion. So you probably imagine like a runway model um, in some crazy like outfit or um, dress and some maybe some hair. And then um, with the magazine cover, you just kind of cropped at like the top of your head here and sort of like your body. And then usually they would have like a different background color, studio background color. So um, you can edit this in and sort of paint out the rest of the stuff, right? You can paint out the background if you want, you can do all that. But I think this is a really different approach to creating your portraits. Uh, I think this will really give you a jump start on your character design, character ideas, and give you that crazy like, wow. I, I kind of want something fun and different, and this is where you can get it. Um, definitely really cool. The next one that I do want to check out is your dark comic. I was super excited when I saw this because for those of us, like we want to write comics and we want to get an idea, you can really set up an expression. You can set up your character sheet, reference sheet. You can sort of see like different styles of comics as well. Um, the, depending on your prompt, I find that you can mix in different things. Sometimes the character is too dark. <laughs> I mean, it's called a dark comic, but um, you can play it around and you can even go back to, let's say, Photoshop and edit out some of the lines so that it's a little bit cleaner for you. Just uh, tailor it to your knees, I think, is, is still really good and really fun to play with. Um, next is the Mix Punk. Uh, originally, I didn't know what this was and I was a little bit confused on the naming, but I think at the end of it, I just really appreciate that it's sort of um, really good illustrations. This one doesn't really do it justice, so I'm just going to go back and do um, just a woman. So when I did a woman, it still gave me a portrait, so I changed it to a person on the street. And you can sort of see the idea of this mixed punk here. It's sort of like a style. Um, I do like it. I think it's really good, for, again, to create those scenes, to create your characters. It's a little bit more oomph than just, like, give me a character list, right? So um, this is really fun to explore, and I would recommend checking that one out. Um, my... Uh, Last but not least is the storybook and this one I'm just in love, adored, like this is the style that I just always like creating and I have created this and generate this in mid journey. I have created this in um, other platforms as well, mostly because I do love watercolor and that's a personal prefer preference, but I really think you can create storybooks. You can, um, not just the name, but you can uh, create children's books you can do illustrations you can print this and make birthday cards all of that is possible and this one i use a mouse eating cheese and i absolutely dig this i think the line drawing is always really simple sometimes we lose that watercolor effect but i think with the way that it is it's just so cute I sometimes don't like the colors that they use and it's it's on purpose, but I can always go back and change the colors and I think I would change it to more pastel. That's just part of the aesthetic. Um, overall, I'm super excited that they are releasing new features um, and filters. I know they're working on some bigger projects, so you're not going to get a new update on Playground anytime soon, but this is really fun. and. 
definitely let me know which one's your favorite and if you're still on playground or you're just moved on to other platforms thanks for watching